Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Scott's NBA Talk. Uh, last night was the 2018 NBA Draft. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Orlando Magic and my thoughts. Uh, I really like... I, I'll be honest, I was hoping they would have got to select Trey Young. I had him going to the Magic, but um, I had a feeling that maybe somebody would have took him before us. I'm just very glad that Dallas did not snatch up Mohamed Bamba because that was that was that was that became my second choice when this all began ended. I'm like, it was like Trey Young, Bamba, maybe like Sexton, and why I'm 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 actually happy with this pick. Um, not as happy as I would have been with Trey Young though, but uh, I'm happy with this pick because now if we bring back. Aaron Gordon, we match an offer, which I hope we do. Now we've got a dangerous front court. I mean, you've got Mo, if Mo Bamba's starting, which I think he should. I think, why not? Just go ahead and throw him in the fire. I know that's crazy, but why not? Right? Mo Bamba, Aaron Gordon, Jonathan Isaac. That is a front court. That is scary. But the thing is, and this is what kind of bothers me. That they did not take a point guard with either the two picks in the second round. Or they didn't try to trade and move up to, like, what was it, Dallas when they took Jalen Brunson. I don't understand that. Um, maybe we got something up our sleeve. I mean, now we're going to have possibly four centers at the moment. Are we going to play Bomba at the four? Because I think I read Marie Space is going to China. So, we're going to do that. I mean, personally, I don't like that idea of playing Bob at the 4. I'd rather play him at the 5. I love his the fact he's got a 7'10 wingspan. It look, I mean, they, they, they say it reminds me of Rudy Gobert. I'm happy with that. Rudy Gobert's awesome. I think he averages like 2.83 blocks a game. If we could get like 2.5 blocks a game out of Bamba, that would be amazing. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's like... Dikembe Mutombo, but with more of an offensive polish. And he's got a three-point shot. He can shoot to three sometimes. So he's got a shot. He's not just a center who can defend and rebound. So I like that. Um, and we do, I think we do need to bring, hopefully we do bring back Aaron Gordon. Uh, but I didn't do that to talk about Aaron Gordon. I want to talk about these other two picks, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know much about the second round picks. I don't know much about a lot of these picks, but I, I had to go by what I read, and uh, we took Melvin Frazier, who's a 6'6", I, I call him a combo combo wing uh, out of Tulane. They say he's a good athletic defender, which I, I love, I don't know, we're, it looks like we're trying to build athleticism and defenders, which I like that. We need some three-point shooters, other than Evan Fournier. And, I mean, Aaron Gordon stepped up a little bit. We need some three-point shooters. Because when, and I know, we're like, well, we shouldn't try to market after Golden State. I completely agree. But uh, you got to. You got to have threes to match Golden State. That's the problem. Now Atlanta got Trey Young, Kevin Hoyter. They're trying to match what Golden State's doing. Are we going to see Golden State and Atlanta in three years in the finals? I hope not. Next three years. I sure don't want Golden State Cleveland again next year. I hope not. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know as much. I mean, I've also seen uh, Justin Jackson, a combo forward, uh, 7 2 wingspan, 40, he shot 44% from three, but he's kind of a turnover prone. So I never know about these second rounders. Um, I never do. And I'm not sure how Wesley Wandu, I mean, are we keeping him? What? I have no idea what's going on with that. But I'm I'm very certain you have to trade Nikola Vucevic. If you're going to go with three centers, I don't know about Birch. I mean, I personally, if we have, I love this. I just thought of something. I think I put it on the thing. But if we, we have Bamba, Bismack and Birch as our centers, we have the Killer Bees. You want to talk about three, well, 
three decent defenders, not great, but decent defenders in the pan in the post. Oh man, teams are not gonna want want to come in the paint. I, which is why I think you got to trade Nikola Vucevic. And there was talks of trading him at this point. I am for it because I really thought we were going to get Trey Young and we didn't. Now we need a point guard. Now more than ever, I'm fine if we trade for Dennis Schroeder. Uh, I think he averaged 18 or 19 last year, which isn't bad. Now I don't think he's a franchising changing player. I would like to find a better point guard than him, but I'm pretty sure Memphis isn't giving up Conley. You know, and I'm pretty sure Boston's not going to give up Kyrie Irving, so... I, I don't know. I mean, if we can get Indiana to give up Darren Collison, I would like that. Darren Collison can defend um, and can score a little bit, so... And he, he played backup with sometimes a Chris Paul, and I thought he was pretty good, but I don't think Indiana's going to give up Darren Paulus, despite they drafted uh, Aaron Holiday. But uh, I'm I, I'm very ha I'm happy with the first round pick. You know, I'm happy with who we selected, considering you know Trey Young was off the board. Colin Sexton would have been another interesting choice. He was one of the I did a mock draft. He. W I actually had him going to Cleveland. I got him right, and I got, uh, of course, I everybody got, almost everybody probably got Aiden right. I picked, I had Aiden, I got, uh, who was it, who else did I get right? Jaron Jackson Jr. I got right, and I got Colin Sexton. Everybody else, I got wrong. There was a couple of them, if you'd have switched, I would have got it right. Because I had Bagley going to Atlanta, but... I didn't. I, I I figured we were probably gonna get Trey Young or Mo Bamba, or probably Wendell Carter Jr. I was actually very surprised he fell to the or he you know I'm surprised that Michael Porter Jr. fell to Denver, but uh, Orlando I, I I do not see the Magic making the playoffs next year unless we make moves. I think we're gonna probably be two years away. And I, it seems like I say that, and then two years now, well, we're two more years away. You know, I, I don't know what... We keep signing these average players. We keep signing players that... To me, DJ Augustine, he's okay, but he's not, to me, a starting point guard. He's more of a good, he's a good backup. He's a good backup. He's not... Shelvin Mack is not a starting point guard. He's a good backup, I think. Um, and people are talking about uh, Toronto. Should go, oh, we should we should try to go for Fred Van Lee, I think is his name. I haven't watched him enough. I've seen a little bit. But I'm not... He's a backup. So we're going to try to sign backups and try to turn the stars. It's very hard to do. It's not easy to do. Um, but I do hope that, you know, Clifford, Steve Clifford coaches this team real well. And now, with Dwight Howard might be bought out, people are like, whoa, we want Dwight Howard back. I don't now. Now we took Bomba. Why we want Dwight Howard back? Are we gonna, we're going to start Dwight Howard, and then we're going to ruin the development of Bomba? I mean, is that what we're going to do? I mean, Dwight Howard is not what he once was. You know, I, I don't know. But I don't know. I just don't see Orlando making the playoffs. I probably have either Miami or Washington winning the. I'll probably do that when I do my division predictions when it's all done the free agency and all that, I'll do my division predictions, but I don't see us, I don't even see us scratching the playoffs, I don't think we're going to be as horrible as last year, but I don't know if we're going to be maybe five games better, I mean, it all depends on what we do too though, because if we can go get a good point guard, 
I think Dennis Schroeder is a good point guard. I don't think he's a great point guard. But, I mean, he did average, what, 18 or 19 last year, so I, I'm fine with him at the moment. I mentioned a comment about, uh, although he can't shoot much either, but I love his I love his skills to facilitate. Rajon Rondo. You know, you want to talk about somebody that can pass the basketball. Well, I think it was one game he had 20-something assists last year. But Pelicans had some pretty good pieces around him. I don't know, but we we need some, we need we need some shooters. We need more shooters. I I don't know. It's like we're building around Fournier and Gordon now. Vucevic is going to be traded. I would be fine if we traded. There was talks of Kent Bazemore. Why not? Let's throw Vucevic and uh, Fournier for Schroeder and Bazemore, and maybe we give up a couple of some second round picks. I don't know. I don't know if Atlanta would buy into that deal. But I just don't see Orlando making the playoffs. Although I love Mo Bamba. Great selection. Again, I'm not sure why we took more forwards and wings. We got. I feel like we had enough wings and forwards. We don't need you know, we need a point guard. We need a point guard. You know, I think we should have we should have moved up. To, we should try to take Jalen Brunson. I don't know if Dallas would have bought or even Memphis J J Javon Carter. Um, I don't think I don't know what would I get. What grade would I give our draft? Well, I I'm not sure the second round picks. I would probably give it a B. I don't think it was great. I don't think it was horrible. We could have done worse. I mean, we could have had two first-round picks and traded the second one. And then what was it? Was it Kyle Kuzma on the board last year? It was like, what? Um, or Jordan Bell was on the board. I kept screaming all year last year about Jordan Bell. And then he goes to Golden State. It was like, what? Yeah, let's just hand Golden State a title. I'm glad we didn't trade nobody to Golden State. Oh, my goodness. I kind of wish we would have took... Gary Trent Jr. But we have Jonathan Simmons and we have Fournier. I'm pretty sure maybe one of them might be moved. I don't know. I would have loved to have Gary Trent Jr. I mean, just to add more like some offense, more offense to our bench. Because I don't know what's going to happen with Mario Hazonia. I mean, is this whole Melvin Frazier, is that why we drafted him? Mario's not coming back? Which is bad, because now I feel like we wasted a top five pick on Mario. I don't know. Now, I think you have to develop Bamba at this point. At this point, I feel like we have nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose. Why sit here and keep starting Vucevic when it's not working? We get killed on defense with Vucevic. It seems like there's times I look at the second unit and I feel like defensively, the second unit is better. I, I almost would rather have started Jonathan Isaac at center. That's how bad it was for Vucevic as a starter. I love his I love Vucevic's offensive game, but his defensive game it's it's very rarely seen. You may every now and then see a game or two will have a good defensive game, and that's it. But uh, he doesn't have it enough. I I don't know. Sometimes I feel he doesn't want to win. I I I was sitting there for years and thinking trade him to Cleveland. Last year, that would have been interesting. <laughs> Cleveland can't defend anyway. I mean, last year, was it 29th in defense? So it's like, why not send Vucevic to Cleveland? Although, yes, we would have probably got late first or second round picks, but <laughs> that's how bad it was. Um, and we could have took on an expiring contract. I have no idea. But I don't know how, if we're going to have any money for 2019 because free agency is going to be big in 2019. I don't even know if we're going to be players. I doubt we're going to be players in it. Your bigger market's going to be players. We we got to get some pieces. I think you've got to, you've got to re-sign Gordon. I don't think you want to make the same mistake you did with Victor Oladipo. I feel if Gordon leaves, he's going to be a star somewhere else. 
If he goes to Phoenix, he's going to be a star. If he goes to Indiana, he's going to be a star. I definitely feel if he goes to Phoenix, he'll be a star because they'll have Aiden, Aaron Gordon, probably either Josh Jackson or uh, Mikkel Bridges, Booker, and then whoever they go for point guard. So, I thought it was a pretty decent draft. Like I said, I give it a B. Could have been better. Wasn't horrible. Uh, I, I don't really consider the Magic a winner, and I don't consider him a loser in this draft. So, what are your thoughts about the Orlando Magic in the draft? Uh, send me your thoughts and your comments. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have ideas for video you'd like me to try to do, I'll try to do it. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know how to edit videos yet. Hopefully I'll figure that out someday here. Um, thanks for watching.